What's going on everybody, Jay Hayes here. So today I'm be doing a review on a device I picked up for the purposes of the review. First off, I want to touch base. Those of you that watched the live show yesterday, I was looking a little scruffy, haven't shaved, wanted to look old. Apparently, I looked like I was 55 years old. Every Friday, I don't want to really give you a schedule, but I will be doing live videos. Today I'm be doing a review on this little jammy right here. This is an upside down tank. I Every time I do this, I, I show you it upside down and I don't know why. This guy right here, Reload RTA. This company Reload has been known to make the Reload RDA. They made it in copper, stainless steel, black and then a limited edition of gold. They made all these different renditions of the Reload RDA. So when I saw this after doing the Dot Mod P324, I had to do a review on this jamming. I haven't really had any requests for it, but I want to do it myself since I love RTAs and I want to see if something can eventually take over the GT3. Hostless deck, gold plated, not a fan of gold plating at all. I'm not a big fan of gold. Let's flip it. Here is their Reload RTA by reload so inside of the box it's tin it's a it's a cute little box you don't really see this too often not being wood really don't need to go on the back because there's nothing on it open this up and you are presented with a lovely piece of thing there's the tank there's the glass there's extra screws and an allen key don't need any of that we're just going to take this straight out there's nothing underneath there's not anything to go over aside from this tank this tank is however made in america man that is a dead breed nothing in the world is made in america besides people anymore looking at this it resembles and i have to do this because they're very 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 similar tanks this is the dot mod P324. This is the Reload RTA 24. Both very similar. Sorry that there's juice in this. I really can't take this apart, but we I've done a review on that already. The drip tips are different. I'm not going to do too much of a comparison. I just wanted to show you the side by side and do a little bit of what's different on what. Let's focus fire on this. The drip tip on the top is your Grenady style. The knurling on this, some people might hate it. Other people are going to love it. It's very, very, very grippy. It looks good, but to me, what it reminds me of is the bottom of the TFMT tank. The issue I had with the TFMT is the knurling on the bottom was extremely jagged like these edges right here will cut you it's that simple so if it's gonna cut your flesh think about what that's gonna do to the top of your mod I know it's not about that but I just want to show you something that's very similar to those cutouts very similar this however is tumbled and it's pretty soft and sanded it's you can feel it but it's nothing that would gash your skin open taking the cap off on this is not so much a hunt and find as it is right there you just kind of grab it by the knurling the first couple times you unscrew this you're gonna need to break it in okay it, the threading is a little tight but that's just due to it being just now machined some people argue that the juice flow needs to be bigger ports i disagree i've seen it where the ports are half the size a quarter size of this in just one port this having dual ports like that is absolutely beautiful it's easy to fill you don't have to worry about the glass coming off as you're filling it fantastic the chimney down the side is extremely large like you could fit a pencil inside of there all right airflow on the bottom has got some kind of engravings and it almost looks like i don't want to say like a travel but more like an indian basket weave like native american indian and the deck not a lot to this deck one might argue and say that the deck resembles resembles the Kylan or the Amit. They're going to use that argument or the Pharaoh. This is that whole line of postless decks. This seems to be taking the market by storm and rightfully so I could see why because you could put anything inside of this. However for an RTA for me you're not going to be using crazy friggin builds. Some people are all about putting them exotic Medusa ass train wrecked floppy penis coils inside of their tank. I I don't do that. I do real simple fuse clapped and jammies. So the portholes for the legs are absolutely tremendous. The airflow for your coil is absolutely tremendous. One thing that kind of throws me off with this is the coil has to be real far to the right and real far to the left so it can go over that air slit. They're not, typically air slits are right underneath the coil. Not so much with this. So you're gonna have to put it at an angle and these air flows are not going up at an angle, they're just going straight up. So the coil literally has to sit 
right here to get it directly on the coil. Sure, you could put the coils all over here, one here, one here, but then you're not gonna get the best flavor that you could out of this tank. Inside here, this well you see right here is where your cotton is gonna be. I saw this little slit right here and I said, there, that's really, really, really tight to get your juice in there, especially if you're running a really thick liquid to get in there and wick properly. Plus the amount of throw that the capillary action of the juice is gonna have to get to to get to the coil is vast, man. I mean, that's, that's what, half an inch? That's a lot of travel and that juice has gotta flow. So it's all about wicking on this bad mamma jamma. That doesn't make it a bad thing. You just have to make sure you wick this 100% correct. And of course, I will show you that. The gold plating, listen, there's so much argumentative shit going on with this gold plating. I get it. Some people love gold plating. I just don't. I would much prefer a stainless steel deck. I don't give a shit about the nominal voltage drop. I mean, come on. But at the same time, I'm not going to see this deck, so it really doesn't matter. It's more so on drippers where you could see the gold ring or you could see the brass. Get it. Some people like it. But silver plating is going to be a lot better than gold plating. That is a fact. Look up what conducts electricity better gold or silver i think you'd be real surprised to find that silver in the purest of forms is the absolute best but whatever i've gone over that before and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna beat that dead zebra it's just not gonna happen there's no zebra beaten here this is a really deep well let me show you how deep this friggin well is 5.45 that's more than most drippers on the bottom there it says reload version 1.0 and the serial here this this is very very difficult for the average joe to pick up but it's not going to be found in any store that i could find i had to get this from an app here is the little beast little sexy thing real clean fuse claptons as always here is what i used i did a dual core of 28 with 34 on the outside real simple got a couple kinks in there but these are flawless nonetheless obviously they're not primed then there's no cotton in it you can see the wicking is really easy to do just kind of channels down and matches up on the bottom I didn't do one side all the way down just because you you really don't need to as long as the whole port is filled up it's still gonna wick the same whether you bring it all the way down here or you cut it off here just make sure that the whole well is filled so the cotton does get that capillary action up the less throw that you can sacrifice the more quicker you're gonna get that action to the coils and this guy right here is going to screw directly directly on super easy threading you could see a little bit of the deck from inside of it and then there is the ultim cap however i have a drip tip is a trinity tip it's a nice little catch cup too and there is the reload rta with lost recipe in it sitting on top of the revenant all right guys so here we are back on top with the reload rta by reload sitting on top of the Revenant. Let me show you a couple hits. First off, the build that I have in here is a .45 sitting at 41.5 watts. Okay, so as you can hear, there's not a lot of airflow in this. The airflow on this is a little bit less than the Petri 24. So that's gonna give you more flavor. And the vapor production you're getting, or that I'm getting off of this, is really, really solid. And there's no leaking. Just bubbling like a champ. Got that crab mouth going on. But I'm here to tell you the flavor on this thing is ridiculous. Re ridiculous the build is easy to do you saw how i did it. just try to position your coils as close to possible as that airflow obviously you're not going to be able to get it right over it uh you might be able to because it's kind of like cut into it so the coils would fit over it it just didn't want to put them that close to the side wall of the chimney getting the top hot the thing on the top this i guess we'll call it knurling the thing on the top on your lips doesn't really feel bad but it feels weird i'm so used to being smooth on my lips versus this that's a little jagged let's see the kind of sound this thing makes i usually don't do that because i always do everything wide open but let's cut the airflow down and hopefully it's not whistling dixie who the fuck is dixie and why is she whistling cut the airflow down in half let's hear it i know whistle still sounds good and let's cut it down to a quarter which is basically like all oh, mouth to lung right there at that point. 
no whistle. Final thoughts on the Reload RTA. If I was to rate this on a zero to 10, an 8.5, maybe an 8.7, really, really solid. Ease of use is amazing. Wiccan is key, and Wiccan is key on all RTAs. Little side note is once you've built one RTA, you've built them all. You know how much cotton, they're all the same amount of cotton, obviously if the well's bigger it requires more. According to the size, they're all typically the same. Just make sure that it's filling up the port or the channel. Some RTAs you want to lay it on top of the channel, depending on how thick the channel is. Most RTAs now have ports, juice ports. This doesn't have juice flow, you can't adjust that. It's all or all that there's no nothing. Solid, solid tank. I'm really, really amped that this tank is that good because I've been looking for something else aside from the GT3. Not a big fan of the Petri. The main reason I'm not a fan of the Petri is the way you fill it on the top. Solid tank, but I would hands down tell you this tank is better than the Petri. Hands down, without a doubt. If I was to rate the flavor on a zero to 10, I'm gonna give it a 9.8. It's that much flavor. Vapor production is good. I feel that there should be a little bit more air just in case if someone wants to blow them clouds. A little bit, not a lot, just a little, a little bit. The build quality of this, the machining, fantastic. Everything across the board, this has got a green light. The drip tip, Mm. Yeah, there's no 510 adapter that I could see inside the box. I don't know why you would need one. So the RTA is not super expensive. It's, it's fairly affordable, but it's not like a $30 RTA. It's a little bit more up there. But as I understand, this is made in America. And that doesn't play a role as to me giving it a good rating. That's just great that it's made in America. And I love supporting American companies. I've kept it real. Have you? Jay is out.